Hello class, Mr. Garino here. In this video, I'm going to illustrate how to add another page of interest, but in a slightly different way. Uh, here's my website, Mr. G website, and I'm going to work on my memorable movie quotes page. So I'm going to open that in Notepad, and it went on my other screen for a second there and so here's what I have. I have home page because I copied this from my index page so I'm going to want to change that to memorable movie quotes and uh, everything else looks good my doc type, my language, my link, my character set, big wrapper, top menu, all my links to all my pages here right because of course I copied it from my index page and I made sure this one was right or right uh, set up the way I wanted it to be set up so all the other ones if I copied and pasted this page and then changed that page like I'm doing here then this one should have all the stuff I want as well and, but instead of welcome to my website of course I'm going to change the heading as I change the title and I just could have copied and pasted it but I'm already typing so let me continue see that's why I shouldn't type because maybe I make a typo. So let's take this one, memorable movie quotes. I know that's spelled right because I checked it real carefully. So then instead of typing this one, let me just copy paste it. Of course if I made a mistake then I got it in two places. But I know it's right. Okay so first thing would be my first paragraph. And what do I want to put there? Well on this page I want to put some memorable movie quotes so I found a YouTube video that I liked that illustrates one of my favorite movie quotes and I'm gonna make that a hyperlink and I went and found the web address for that YouTube video and I copied it and I'm gonna paste it in here I'm pasting it inside of a tag we already know an A tag which is for a hyperlink and um, then we say H reference to tell it where the hyperlink is and this is the YouTube video I found so rather than go to YouTube and search let me just paste this into my browser and I'll show you the video that I got that I want to link to I should say so this is the video of course where Darth Vader tells Luke that he's his father so I'm going to minimize this and I could put over here so here's my link um, and over here I think I told you in another video I like putting this in target blank so, it, so that when I click on the link it goes to uh, open a new tab or a new window in my browser I think it depends on the browser settings but it doesn't just open within the same place so that I don't go away from the page that I'm on and, and that's my preference I like that so you don't have to put this here but I like putting it there then that's up to you it's preference okay so then typically what we would do is in this place we would put I don't know something like uh, I am your father and then we would close our a tag so that this text right here is what the hyperlink will be on and then of course we should also close our our p tag so now if I save this and then look at it in Chrome we have this little link says I am your father when I click it it opens a new tab and it shows you that video but we want this looks kind of crappy and we want to do something a little bit differently if you remember I was saying that so rather than putting a text link in here or putting the link on some text let's put the link on an image so what I'm gonna do is paste in the code here for an image remember inside the two a tags the opening a tag where the hyperlink goes and any other attributes you want between that opening one and the closing one whatever you put there will have the link on it 
So I'm going to control V to paste in the code that I already have set up so you don't have to watch me type because we've done this before and I don't want to waste your time watching me type again. So we have image. I'm putting a little style here because I want it floated to the left. And remember a lot of this code is pretty good for a uh, desktop website, maybe not so great for a cell phone, but we don't we have a limited amount of time in our course and I can't show you everything. So here's my margin. I want 10 pixels on the top, 10 pixels on the right, 10 pixels on the bottom, but zero pixels on the left because if you remember, we have padding over here of 10 pixels. So I already have 10 I already have that accommodated, but that 10 pixels. Then we close our quote marks after we do all of our styling. And then over here we say SRC. And by the way, I see a lot of students who have typed this SCR. And then they want to know why their picture doesn't show up. Well, because it's SRC, not SCR. It makes a difference, obviously. Um, and then in quotes, the name of the picture, which I had previously found on the internet and saved to my folder. So I am your father. So if you look in my folder, I do have a picture called I am your father. Okay, so here's my picture. Here's my alternate text if someone can't see pictures like a blind man using a screen reader. I also set up my width and previously I forgot to put in pixels so I should put that in. A lot of browsers will make things work when you forget things because browsers are really wonderful programs. They kind of interpret the code and do what they think is best to make things look right. Older browsers don't do it so well, newer browsers do it pretty well. So just in case someone's using an older browser, let me make sure I put the pixels there. And inside quotes, newer browsers, I think uh, even if you don't have the quotes, it still works. So trying to do things as, as best as possible, as correct as possible. So here is our link to our picture. And then I'm going to save this and refresh my page and now you see there's the picture. If I put my mouse over it I get the hyperlink hand and if I click it it goes to YouTube. And there's that same video again. Okay but um, this memorable movie quotes is not in the center and I want it there and this needs to have this border going down further so we got to fix up some stuff to make it look nice. So in our H1 tag, we will put a line equals in quotes center. And we'll save this and refresh. And so now our headings in the center and looking good. And then we will add some text to our well, not exactly to our picture, but on the side of our picture. So right now, after our hyperlink, which is on our picture, from here to here, after that, in between the closing A tag and our closing P tag, we can put some text. We can put some text describing our picture. So it's not just a picture there that someone should realize to link on or to click on. Okay, so I'm going to type in this. The moment Darth Vader confirms to Luke, I am your father. This had to be one of the most anticipated lines in Hollywood history. Save this and refresh and so I get this text on the side over here it's kinda of right up against the the heading and we know how to fix that stuff right we're just gonna go in and after our heading let's just put in a paragraph with a couple line breaks and save this and then refresh and that looks better when we're all done we'll worry about the border because as we put text and pictures and stuff it is border is going to go down and then we'll just fix it later. So let's put in our next uh, picture. So for my next picture, rather than explain what I'm typing, because I just did on this one, I'm going to do this the same way. So I'm just going to paste it all in. So we have our P tag, our A tag, my link to YouTube, target blank, after the closing angle bracket of my opening A tag, I'm going to put in my image tag with my margins, my source, my alternate text, my width, my height. Don't forget the pixels. P 
PX. Here's my the closing angle bracket of my image tag, my closing a tag, the text that I want to put in, and if you're reading this you can see I got something going on here from a few good men, really good movie if you've never seen it, and then of course the closing p tag. Okay, so let's save this and then refresh. Okay, so here's Colonel Nathan R. Jessup and the scene, if you probably have heard this phrase, you can't handle the truth, that's where it comes from, the movie A Few Good Men. Definitely worth watching. And let's see. This, of course, looks kind of crappy. So, go back to our page here, and let's put in some line breaks, of course. And you'll see that line breaks, you can put them inside a paragraph, but you actually don't have to put them inside a paragraph. So here's a bunch of breaks, and let's save this. Oops, save this and refresh and now I brought it down and on the side so that looks a little bit better uh, this maybe you might want to move down to be next to the picture more rather than right on top of it but that's up to you as to how you want the text to be so now I showed you how to do two and you see that that looks pretty good I'm going to get the code for a bunch more and put it in and then you could see how it looks when I'm all done. So I've copied the code from a page I had previously done. I'm going to paste it all in. So yeah, there's a lot there. Here's my Darth Vader one, Can't Handle the Truth one. Uh, and again, you have to find the link for YouTube first. You have to find a picture that you're going to use to put the link on. If you notice, all my picture files don't have any spaces, I think, yeah. And they do actually work with spaces on a picture file, as long as you say it the right way. But I kind of get in the habit of not using spaces, because a website, um, or web pages, the .html file, if you have a space, it doesn't work. So I, I kind of get in the habit of not using them, just to be safe, because then you got to remember where you can and where you can't. So if you just never use them, you're safe. So I find that the safest way to do it. So now let's uh, save this and see what we got. Once again, I don't want to type all this stuff in. Uh, you guys know how to do this now. So I just want to show you how what your page is going to look like when you're all done. And I forgot the pixels on a lot of these. I guess on the whole page when I did it. Um, and I'm not going to go and put those in now because, again, don't want to waste your time. So here's my page when it's all done. So we have memorable movie quotes. We got the Star Wars. Uh, a Few Good Men, Jaws, You're Gonna Need a Bigger Boat, Terminator, He Says I'll Be Back, uh, Roadhouse, when he's getting stapled after getting cut, he says pain don't hurt. And then my last one, something's goofy with that. So here you got your prediction pain, and this is what appears as alt text. So maybe it's good that I made this mistake. Because you can see why do you do that well what happens if the picture doesn't work for some reason I mean it's your website you should make it work but even if there's some sort of glitch something happens the person still can see oh there's supposed to be a picture here called prediction pain and if they click on this it actually goes there okay but now let's go and look and see what is wrong there so here we have a picture called prediction pain and if I go to my folder, do I have that picture? I don't. So somehow, when I was copying and pasting things in here, I didn't get that picture. Uh, or if I saved it, maybe I didn't save it right. Or I got a different name or something's going on. So it shows the alt text because that it knows. And it puts the link on that instead of on the picture. So that's why this stuff over here is a good thing to do for a lot of different reasons. And now let me see if I can go find that picture. Okay, so I went to the folder I had originally used to make these videos and found that picture and I copied it. So now I'm going to paste it in and here's my file predictionpain.png and here it is predictionpain.png. So I don't even have to resave this because this already had the proper code. It just was the picture wasn't in the folder. Don't know how that happened. I guess I goofed. And so now if I refresh this, You'll see that 
no longer does the alternate text show up because it's alternate text. It shows up when there's a problem with the picture. Now there's the picture and the link is on the picture and it goes back to the same place. So here's my page called Memorable Movie Quotes. You'll see that the border goes all the way down to where it was supposed to be. That's why I didn't try and fiddle with it before because I had a feeling as I add it more and more pictures and text the border would just automatically extend. I may have put in some breaks here at the end, some extra ones, but I kind of have them all over. Like this one I have this many breaks, this one I have more, depending on the size of your picture and how it's fitting and working, uh, that's what you can do. So when I put in the breaks after the last picture, that brought the border down past the picture. And I think you'll say, or agree, that everything looks good and it's kind of nice to have the links on the pictures instead of the text. So that's how you put on pictures with links to YouTube videos. And a lot of people say, well, can I put videos in my website? Yeah, you can. And when we make our own animations and put them on, we're going to convert them into videos that are going to play off our website. So I'll show you that in a later video. But really, no one really puts videos on their website, or not really that much anymore. If you're going to have a bunch of videos that you want to show people, you get a YouTube channel and you put them all there. Let YouTube host them. Let them pay for the... Uh, for the uh, storage space and the streaming because when you have your own website you get charged for stuff like that if you go over a certain limit but it's free on YouTube so might as well use them if they're gonna give it to you for free so that's how you do the links on pictures with YouTube videos it works pretty good um, it may work for your website it may not you don't have to do this but uh, rather than just making another page with pictures and text you might want to try something like this so now you have another option for making your next page of interest. Thank you.